Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of Pursuing Ultra. So um, I realized that I hadn't given a, a training update in a little while. So just got done with, uh, I think it was like the third or the fourth uh, long run. And um, just wanted to give all of you a quick update. Had my partner in crime, Alu, with me. Uh, she's training just as much as I am. <laughs> uh, we're going to get her in shape. But um, so basically the way that I have my training set up right now is to basically have one day where I'm focusing on getting a lot of volume uh, or doing something hard, which are my Saturdays or my long run days. On those days, I will try to do my best to get as much elevation gain um, as I possibly can and as much time on my feet as I possibly can. So um, it's not feasible right now for me to run really more than uh, like nine or 10 miles. Speaking of which, I gotta stop my watch. Not really feasible for me to run more than nine or 10 miles at a time and get more than about 2000 feet of gain. So in order to remedy that, um, what I do is I'll do my long workout at the, <laughs> hi puppy. Um, I'll do my long workout, uh, that I try to get about 2000 feet of gain, um, and you know, just under 10 miles. So for, uh, for this case, the last workout that I just did, it was, I'm pretty sure it was 8.3 miles. It took me an hour and 45 minutes and I got like, there we go. I got 1800 feet of, uh, vert in there. So pretty steep. Um, 12 minute miles, I'm really happy with. Uh, that's kind of, I mean, that's under goal pace in terms of, you know, being able to finish um, my first 100 kilometer race. Um, so I'm doing, I'm, I'm really focusing my Saturdays on doing uh, my long workouts. And then what I do in order to get more volume is I go and I play a round of disc golf. Um, disc golf has been something that's been super fun for me lately. And, uh, you know, something that I'm also trying to get a little bit better at. So it's, it's super fun to be able to, you know, go do my training and then, you know, go eat, do those sort of things. And then in the afternoon, go play a round of disc golf where I get to be out and I get to get another, you know, five to 10,000 steps. Both of those, I think are a pretty good one-two punch in order, uh, you know, like in, in order of getting me uh, in shape and getting me prepared for more volume. Um, and then like, so, so that's what I'll do on my Saturdays. On Sundays, I'll take a day off just to kind of fully rest and recuperate from the, uh, uh, the, the trials and tribulations of the week. And then during the week, what I'll try to do currently is I will run Monday, Wednesday, Friday in the morning. And I only run for like 15, 20 minutes and do continuous running on pavement. And I'm slowly building that volume up. But then the afternoons on Monday and Wednesday, particularly, and Fridays, if I, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll go to, uh, the, the gym on campus and I'll do an hour of, uh, uphill treadmill walking, stair stepping, um, really just anything that's kind of suiting my fancy for another hour again, just to, uh, accumulate more volume. And then on my Tuesdays and Thursdays, I eventually want to have those be a little bit more interval style workouts. Um, right now I'm just getting into it. So it hasn't gotten to that point yet. Um, but eventually I want those to be interval style workouts. And right now, um, it's just trying to accumulate, uh, enough steps throughout the day. And maybe, uh, in the afternoons, if I have free time, I'll go for a run where I will, uh, take the dog. And what I do is there's a, there's like a really big soccer field complex where, um, you can, you know, like bring your dog, have them off, off leash, fetch, fetch them with, uh, like the, like throwing a ball or something. So I'll go and I'll run. And I will fetch the dog while I run so that it really just gets the dog going. They don't really have t too much time to recover or anything like that. And I get a workout in um, on top of that. So uh, that's kind of the uh, the way I'm approaching my weeks. And I'm slowly, uh, you know, kind of upping the, the speed and the intensity on like those hour long uh, treadmill and stair stepper days. And I'll slowly uh, up the the speed, volume and mileage on my uh, long run days. Or, and then just in terms of how things are going, um, things are going pretty well. Uh, 
so far, you know, I've had like a few aches and pains here and there, but it's mostly just my body being sore, getting used to, you know, like all the steps and all the running that I'm actually doing. Other than that, still sleeping really well. Uh, one of the things I do have to make sure I maintain is eating enough calories, uh, especially carbohydrates um, and protein. Uh, those are the two things that I have a tendency to uh, under consume. So I am, I'm really working to uh, eat enough of those and just eat enough calories in general in order to maintain both my uh, the academic side of things uh, because I need a lot of energy in order to be able to think straight and um, you know like the physical physical side of things. So uh, overall, training's going really well. Been able to you know kind of like maintain and get into the habit of actually doing all the training again. Um, I haven't done any specific training in like four or five years, so um, it's all kind of coming back to me getting back into the rhythm of it uh, overall it's just it's it's just going really well I, I remember why I really like you know doing you know training for something um, it gives me a little bit more of a purpose in terms of my physical activity and it gives me the ability to uh, you know motivate myself if I'm not feeling up for it you know like one day one day to the next so uh, with that uh, everything's going well I'll make sure to, to update y'all uh, you know later on as things progress um, but if you have any co comments or questions, uh, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. Um, and until next time, we'll catch you in the next one.